the best commentator out there. But, um, alright, we got Baker versus Dreamcastle. Now, okay, this is going to be an interesting matchup. I feel like I always start, I always start a game saying that, right? But you never know. Uh, I feel like at the end of the day, it really is going to be the player who's going to decide what's going on here. But we have a Dreamcastle on chat. I know earlier, um, we had a lot of Dreamcastle lovers on chat. I wonder if they'll hop on again. Um, but here we go. This is how usually what you, how you think you're going to see what's, what's going to happen. Bayonetta's going to juggle Rob here and there. Get his damage real high, but then again, what's going to be the saving um, saving grace for Rob is the fact that he's heavy. Uh, there we are. We got Surge on, on stream, claiming his love for, for Dream Castle. <laughs> Throwing the support. I love it. You, you love to see it. Oh, you're not dead yet. But this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is probably what we're going to see throughout the match. We're going to see Bayonetta being able to get some early on percentage. But, I, man, again, I'm saying you, this man... It looks like a tank, and he's built like a tank. He's not dead. What a re- <laughs> the disrespect! Did Dream Castle- I feel like, yeah. He's, he's really, like, showing his, his player colors so far. He really likes to, like, uh, show his personality when he's playing. Alright, wow. So it seems like he's, he likes to do that. He likes to just, after he does uh, the down throw, he likes to see how the player will react after that. Ooh, good parry coming out from Dream Castle. Alright, so now, 182. Are you dead? You're probably dead. Here. Yeah, there we go. Good old Bayonetta jab. It seems like, uh, from, I remember from the past history, uh, Baker was able to get... Wow. <laughs> what an option. What a way to... Uh, see the thing with the Smash? The thing that I like. Players don't talk to each other in the game. But you can really see through the interaction that they're having. Like, you can really say, like, they're saying things. And it's really funny to, like, read, you're dead? No way you're dead. Uh, going back to what I was saying, you can really see what the players are saying throughout what they're what they're doing. Uh, it really is, I guess, I guess, a, uh, a game of science. That's the best way I can say it. But going back to focusing into the game, Aker, unrelentful, applying pressure, deciding to you know what you're not going to be able to bring you. Oh, I've never heard that voice line before. Actually, that's the first time I heard that. Uh, did someone translate what that means? I'd love to know. But here we are. Wow! Dreamcastle just waited. Apparently Baker was trying to bait something out there. Not able to get anything yet. Okay. Wow, the gyro just flew out. But you know, got hit within. That thing just bounced out of here. It's like, I had nothing to do with this. What a good backer. What a good backer coming out for Baker. First game going to him. So, okay. Let's give, let's give it an analysis of what's going on here, right? Like I said, the thing, the game played out just as they expected. We have Bayonetta doing some good combos, getting some early kills, because to be honest, that's going to be the way for Bayonetta to kill. You really want to get rid of Rob as soon as possible, because the longer you're going to drag this, you really have to get really creative with the way that you're going to get um, the kills. Because people will stop falling out of your combos, you know, you're going to have to look for a good back here or a good jab, which so far Baker has been really, really good on. Alright. And for Dreamcastle, I feel like, honestly, you might want to be playing a little more campy, but that's not the option, you know, given the fact that there is Witch Time available. And she can Witch Time projectiles, and it doesn't matter if it's just a projectile, you will be caught in, in the Witch Time as yourself. Okay. Alright. Wow, just one single side be coming from Bayonetta, not able to go for the second one, or decided not to. Okay. Alright. Okay, good good jabs coming out from uh from Baker. Ooh, looking for the witch time. I think that's actually the first time throughout the match that um, Baker decides to go for the witch time. I wonder what went through his mind, maybe what made him decide, you know what? I think it's there you go. And that's what I'm talking about. You're probably dead. Not yet. Not yet, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Oh the gyro! The pressure! Disgusting! If Dreamcast can do more stuff like this, oh my, that's exactly what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Something like that could really, like, that's what I'm, and if you look at the percentage, again, that's what I was saying. 162% on, wow, what, what a reaction from Baker. This man was high percentage and Baker able to respond immediately, able to get the stock out of right off the bat. Okay, here we are. Baker, oh, the lag, that has very high lag once you fall back on stage. 
forward smash. What an aggressive option. Something that I have first time, I believe, out of this entire match with both of these players. First time that I see a, a forward smash coming out from them. Okay. All right. Not able to get the kill. I've got a good uh, escalator going on. Escalator. I mean, ladder combo. <laughs> English. Oh, I gotta love it. All right. Okay, we got the guns out. Dreamcastle descent, just, you know, I'm gonna chill in the air. Um, looking for something maybe coming out for Baker. Wow. What, what, the brain games. I, I, it's one thing I will notice. Dreamcastle seems to be a very, like, mental player. He likes to play with the player at a mental level. Like I, like I, like I'm saying, like, portray messages and say things to the player without saying anything at all. Really, uh, it seems like uh, Witch Time didn't activate once he uh, hit the gyro. Gyro in hand, denying entry. Oh, and right off the bat, Baker um, adapting, knowing that you can. Second time she says that. I, I'm, I'm actually surprised. Uh, I haven't heard that before. Wow, what a read. He knew he was gonna fall there, and he just replied immediately after that. Okay. Zero to zero percent. You know what? This is definitely doable, and I'd love to see more of these players play. So to be honest, uh, I'd like to see Dreamcastle pull something amazing. Uh, both of these players are both very good players, both enjoyable to watch in their own way. You have Dreamcastle able to portray and really set the ground and uh, uh, the way he plays, and then we have Baker with uh, very technical, very um, aggressive. If you say that as much. Very precise with his moves. Okay, all right. Okay, both players kind of explain the neutral. Again, Baker choosing the aggressive option, deciding to be the one, the initiator, you could call it, within the matchup. Which timing the gyro and not work? This is the second time that happens, ladies and gentlemen. Gyro up in the air. That is, and then now I forgot. I think that was in Bayonetta's uh, control as well. Oh, you're dead. Second time. That's uh, actually not the second time, but. He got the he got the witch time and he was able to take him out. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the uh, the kill. Uh, Baker able to move on.